In this video, we're taking a look at the honky-tonk dancing scene of Austin, Texas. So you can get a look at some country music bars and some of the big artists that folks go out to dance to here in Austin. I'll be featuring at least 15 different artists here and eight different venues. So you're gonna get a pretty good glimpse of what the scene looks like. And I've done a bunch of these videos before and usually I go along one venue at a time. But for this one, I wanted to open up first with a new artist that came about in the awesome music scene, Theo Lawrence. The story goes that Theo Lawrence made a brief trip here into Austin and everybody loved him, but then he had to go back to France and now he's found his way back more permanently from Sam's Town Point to Sea Boys, Sagebrush, and the White Horse. <laughs> Pick up strangers on the road As a little boy I was told But I could never ever listen I was on to Monterey And she was heading the same way All aboard my Silverado She's a California poppy of PCH Okay, now let's take a look at some of the music venues here. We've got Joe's Coffee in the South Congress area. This is a popular spot for a Sunday afternoon. Hang out with a coffee and maybe some kind of pastry where they've got Sinner's Brunch going on and they bring in really talented artists here including Jenny Miori with Joe's House Band. She's one of them. And then Georgia Parker with Joe's House Band is another great artist they have here. Also on Sunday, a good afternoon to go on out to ABGB. They got really good food here and relatively comfortable amount of space, although it can get pretty crowded for really popular artists. And I had a chance to see Devin Jake here, which was a real treat. They put on an awesome show and I hope to see them back there at ABGB. Tell me, darling. Next up, another really popular uh, dancing spot called Sagebrush that's more along uh, South Congress, south of South Congress, where you can find a bunch of popular bands playing here. And on this trip, I was able to check out Libby and the Loveless, Weldon Henson and Bob Apple out there. Now a lot of times after Sagebrush gets out, there's a flurry of folks who want to go out to the White Horse, trying to follow the live music going on on that night. But on this Sunday, uh, there was a little group that had to go to Sea Boys to check out Mike and the Burnalls. And so I went out to see Sea Boys on a Sunday night, where they call themselves the Swankiest Club in South Congress. And not only can you catch Mike and the Burnalls there regularly, but you can also find Jimmy Vaughn, guitarist based in Austin, brother of Stevie Ray Vaughan. Highball is another cool and popular venue that's got a lot of floor there, floor space there, and uh, good drinks there. They've got live music for dancing uh, on more than one night per week, typically, I believe, but every Monday they got the Motown Monday there, which is really popular, where they got some really fancy looking performers up there, rocking out with some R&B kind of bluesy hits, and just look how nice they're dressed. I imagine they've got some pretty cool things in their closets. Okay, now again in South Congress, a very popular Continental Club is a nice place to keep on your radar, and they do bring in some regular bands as well as some less regular bands. 
And so you can find Dale Watson there playing a lot on Monday nights, or you can catch the Mellows there sometimes. I was able to catch both of them along with Gus Clark and the least of his problems. Songs of the sample. Now we got another really popular place called the White Horse in East Austin, East 6th Street kind of area. This is a place that gets really crowded and packed and it's pretty popular. It gets pretty crazy on a Friday night and even more crazy on a Saturday night. But we're taking a look here at what it looks like on a Halloween day itself. Lots of energy, excitement, and costumes out there on this day. Sydney. 